rise. Maybe seated. Before we begin, Kenneth and Brittany would like to pause for a moment to remember those who can't be present here today and those who are no longer with us, especially the bride's paternal grandparents, Norma and Norman, 
the groom's great grandparents, Julia and Julius, and the bride's great aunt, Paula. We'd also like to thank our friends and family, especially the father of the bride, the mother and groom of the bride, Bonnie and Glenn Baker, and bridesmaids and groomsmen for traveling such great distances to be with us here today. Some of you have traveled as far as Minnesota, Illinois, New York, Connecticut, just to be here to celebrate on this special beginning of our next chapter. <laughs> We gather as a community of family and friends and feel ripples of excitement and tremors of joy as we celebrate the marriage of Kenneth and Brittany. God has created a world of harmony. Soaring birds, towering trees, brisk wind, animals of all kinds, each unique, each in relationship and harmony with the others. God's first gift was breathing life into humans and turning us toward each other to live in equality and unity. Kenneth and Brittany have come here to affirm their love for each other and enter into this sacred union. Marriage is a gift. Marriage is an opportunity for love to be learned. Marriage is a journey which we as the travelers are faced with many choices and are responsible for these choices. Marriage is a call to servanthood. Marriage is a call to friendship. Marriage is a call to suffering. Marriage is not an event but a way of life. Marriage involves intimacy in all areas for it to be fulfilling. Today, Kenneth and Brittany, you come together bring all of you to this marriage all of your wonderful parts, all of your hurts and pains, you especially bring today all of your hopes and dreams for this marriage. In preparing for today, Brittany, Kenneth shared, I knew you were the one for me. The first time I saw the sunlight filtered through the forest leaves fall on your smiling face. You're perfect for me because your constant desire for self-betterment, a deep love for all life and things that grow. And Kenneth, Brittany shared, I knew you're the one for me because, well, you put up for me, put up with me for nine years. <laughs> the only other people to accomplish this are my family, and they didn't have much of a choice. <laughs> there was no eureka moment like people think, like in books and movies. That stuff isn't real. It doesn't work like that for me, at least. I like to take my time. I had a feeling when we, we started dating, but I'm very slow to jump in head first. My dad raised two girls by himself and always put us first, so that's the man by which all others are compared in my world. You're perfect for me because you're the same kind of man as my father. You put your family first. You're kind, humble, intelligent, generous, protective, slow to anger, steadfast and true and as you can always count on the sun rising every day I can count on you being there nobody I've ever met comes close to the caliber of human being you are you both have tremendous faith in each other as you trust your future to the other's care and you have excellent reasons for believing you belong together but you have no guarantees Instead, you stand together about to accept on faith the challenge of creating the future together. Faith is the assurance of things hoped for. You marry in faith that God has called you to live as one, and you promise to be faithful to, to one another in big things as well as small. Your constant faith in each other will give form and substance to the beautiful hopes you have for your future. Faith is the conviction of things not seen. Unless you're an unusual couple, at times your marriage won't look anything like the vision you celebrate today. You may not feel much evidence of the love you now feel so keenly. At such a time, remember this moment. Remember the hopes and dreams that have been entrusted to your care. Marriage begins with a leap of faith that says, I will, before an unknown and unknowable future. Marriage is about being full of faith or faithful to one another. Faithfulness respects each other's ideas and feelings, keeps each other's secrets, guards each other's dignity, and honors each other in public and in private. Faithfulness is built from 10,000 minute acts of trust and trustworthiness. In such faith, you'll find the fulfillment of all the hopes and dreams you have today. May God bless you both. Amen. 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 Kenneth and Brittany, have you come here freely without reservation to join together lawfully in marriage? If so, say, I have. I have. I have. Before God and family and friends, I ask you to affirm your vows to each other. As you enter into this covenant of marriage, you begin to share all the joys of this new relationship, whatever the future may hold. Kenneth, 
If you take Brittany to be your wedded wife, to live together in marriage, if you promise to love her, comfort her, honor and keep her, for better or worse, for richer or poorer, in sickness and health, and forsaking all others, be faithful only to her for as long as you both shall live. <laughs> Brittany, do you take Kenneth to be your wedded husband, to live together in marriage? Do you promise to love him, comfort him, honor and keep him, for better or worse, for richer or poor, in sickness and health, and forsaking all others, be faithful only to him for as long as you both shall live? <laughs> May I have the rings? These rings are an outward and visible sign of invisible truth which binds two hearts in one. As such, they are the symbols of the enduring and unending quality of the love which is now expressed between Kenneth and Brittany. Kenneth, as you place the ring on Brittany's finger, please repeat after me. With this ring, with this ring, I marry you. I marry you. And bind my life to yours. And bind my life to yours. It is a symbol. It is a symbol. Of my eternal love. My eternal love. My everlasting friendship. My everlasting friendship. And the promise. <coughs> and the promise. Of all my tomorrows. Of all my tomorrows. Brittany, as you place the ring on Kenneth's finger, please repeat after me. With this ring, With this ring? I marry you mm -hmm. and bind my life to yours. Mm -hmm. It is a symbol mm -hmm. of my eternal love, mm -hmm. my everlasting friendship, mm -hmm. and the promise, mm -hmm. promise of all my tomorrows. <laughs> These are the hands of your best friend, young and strong and full of love for you, that are holding yours on your wedding day, as you promise to love each other today, tomorrow, and forever. These are the hands that work alongside yours as together you build your future. These are the hands that will passionately love you and cherish you through the years, and with the slightest touch will comfort you like no other. These are the hands that will hold you when fear or grief fills your mind. These are the hands that will countless times wipe the tears from your eyes, tears of sorrow, tears of joy. These are the hands that will help you hold your family as one. These are the hands that will give you strength when you need it. And lastly, these are the hands that even when wrinkled and aged, will still be reaching for yours, still giving you the same unspoken tenderness with just a touch. The quake which I'm holding is a traditional drinking cup unique to Scotland. Drinking from a quake is part of a long established tradition of hospitality. If you share a cup like this with somebody, you can't do harm or injury to the other. We'd like to have Glenn Baker come forward and fill the quake. This quake contains within it whiskey that is sweet, symbolic of happiness, joy, hope, peace, love, and delight. The same whiskey 
also has some bitter properties that are symbolic of life's trials and tribulations. <coughs> Together, the sweet and bitter represent love's journey and all of the experiences that are a natural part of it. As you share the whiskey from this quake, you are symbolizing your commitment to sharing everything in life and sealing the bond between you. While signifying the blending of your families, <coughs> you undertake to share all that the future may bring. All the sweetness life may hold for each of you will be the sweeter because you drink it together. What challenges it may contain will be less difficult because you share them. When you drink from this cup, you will acknowledge to one another that your lives have now become one. Now drink to the love you've shared in the past, to your love in the present, on this your wedding day, and drink to your love in the future and forevermore. As you've shared the whiskey from this quake, you may, uh, may share your lives. May you explore life's mysteries together and find life's joys heightened in bitterness, sweetened, and all of life enriched by the love of family and friends. <laughs> 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 a Tolkien wedding poem. Lo, young we are, and yet have stood, like planted hearts in the great sun of love so long, as two fair trees in woodland or in open dale stand utterly entwined and breathe the airs and suck the very light together that we have become as one deep-rooted in the soil of life entangled in the sweet growth. 1 Corinthians 13, 4 to 8 says, Love is patient, love is kind, love is not envious or boastful or arrogant or rude. It does not insist on its own way. It is not irritable or resentful. It does not rejoice in wrongdoing, but rejoices in the truth. It bears all things, believes all things, hopes all things, endures all things. Love never ends. Kenneth and Brittany, in the future, happy occasions will come as surely as the morning. Difficult times will come as surely as the night. To say the words love and compassion is easy, but to accept that love and compassion are built upon patience and perseverance is not easy. Kenneth and Brittany, as much as you've declared your willingness to enter the state of marriage with each other, declared the same in the company of God and these witnesses, by the virtue of authority vested in me as an ordained minister by the state of Florida, I pronounce you husband and wife, United in the pure and holy bonds of wedlock, where God is joined, let no one separate. Go forth in this life as husband and wife with the blessing of God. Be loving, patient, and kind, and above all, forgive one another as God has forgiven you. It's my pleasure to introduce to you all for the first time, Mr. and Mrs. Baker. Kenneth. <laughs> <laughs> Kenneth and Brittany would like to thank you all for being present on their most special of days. The bridal party is going to be taking some pictures at this time, so being family, please stay close for group pictures. Everybody else, there's a pretty amazing cocktail hour and reception across the street.
you got four rivers catering in, which is what everybody wants to have at the <laughs> wedding, right? <laughs> and you've got what they've got Corey and Tony on the bar, so they're gonna treat you right tonight. And apparently, your DJ tonight's exceptional. Okay, it's me. <laughs> <laughs> I, I'm gonna do a wardrobe change, and then we're gonna get our crew walking out, okay? So, well, thank you again. See you soon.